Hey you guys, this is your girl Jolie Couture and I'm back. As you can see, I'm rocking another one of my older units. This was one of my fave. I think she was like the very first video I did. And this one was Unit 4 by Sensational. Um, today, I have another one for you guys. And before I show you. All right. So, this is the unit. This was a 10 inch natural color bob, deep wave bob, um, that I got from the hair store. Um, this one is a front lace, so it's not a full lace. It has the tracks and it has um, the combs in the back and also the combs on the side. It has dye here and there because this one was customized to this color. It's like a greenish blue you guys could see it's like a greenish blue and it is ombre this one is fully customized with the bleach knots and this one is a full cap so it has the lace in the back as well as in the front it also has the elastic band that i attached to it so this one's fully customized by your girl jolie couture um so let's go see All right, so first thing first, before I even take off my wig, we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace out, the front and the back. So grab your scissors. Take your time, there's no rush, it's not a competition. And you could rewind this video as many times as you need to. If you need to go back and look at things, So I start it on one side, get it halfway through, and then I turn it to the other side. We're gonna go ahead in the back. I make it look so simple, but like I said, take your time. There's no rush. This one was a, a frontal lace, so I didn't mind getting the color all on the tracks because all this is tracked back here. And I like my hair a little bit thick, so what I did was I went through and added two tracks in the back just to give me some fullness. And then this is the comb. It has three combs in the front as well. And then I sew my elastic band from ear to ear. This one we will not be gluing down. This is gonna be a um, glueless install. So the lace is cut and you cut it as close as possible to the hairline without cutting any of the hair, the baby hair. This is a bob, so I'm not going to pluck it. I'm actually going to keep the hairline just as it is because I'm not going to be pinning it back, doing ponytails or anything like that. Um, I'm going to keep this one in the middle part. So let me adjust the bend in the back and try it on and see what we're working with today.
okay so when putting the wig on with the elastic band what i usually do i grab the front with the laces because you don't want to rip your lace that's gonna just mess up the whole wig then you're gonna pull it you're gonna stick the cap in the back of your occipital and you're gonna pull it all the way up to the front and then once you get a nice grip there you leave you stick your hand down just take your right hand you stick it right underneath and you pull the elastic band as far down as you can and then you pull the wig and you stick the comb right underneath the elastic band and ta-da that was quick <clears throat> Look at that. This took me less than two minutes. The lace is already cut. The only thing I would do, let me move up for you guys. <laughs> the only thing I would do is probably, like this is so nice and tight and snug. Like this wig is not going anywhere. And I love these colors. Yeah, I have no lashes on today. Just a basic look with some lip gloss. But we're not here to talk about my makeup. Loving, loving, loving this color. Like it has some blue. It has some green. It's just full and fluffy and just, just everything. And it's so lightweight like this wig is really lightweight this was a 10 inch 10 inch bob deep wave i'm um, from the hair store and this was a natural color which is like the brownish natural black version here and i dyed bleached it and dyed it to this bluish green color right here so you know me this looked fine to me but I don't like this part right here so I'm gonna go ahead and make me some baby hair with all my little baby hair so what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend the baby hair of the wig to a little bit of my baby hair just so you know blend everything out I just feel like my forehead looks so huge with a middle part but I really like this bob the short look this yep all right so let's go ahead and grab your clip then you're gonna take a comb and we're gonna take a thin layer right here in the front We're doing the middle part, we're not doing no pinup, so I don't need any um, baby hair going all the way to the side of my head. I just need it, just for the front. Now if later on, you wanna go ahead and style it behind your ears, you can leave a little bit of baby hair on the side and then you could just pin it back behind your ears like this. You know, just to get a different look. But I'm showing you guys one look at a time. I'm gonna grab my Gatsby gel. I have some edge control. This one's actually really good, but I'm not putting the edge control on my edges today. We're gonna use the Gatsby gel instead. But the edge control is really good um, instead of the Gatsby. If your, your hairline is completely natural and your hairline is, is really thick. I have really, really fine hairline. So I'm going to use the Gatsby glue. But if my hairline did glue, you know, decide to grow out and get nice and thick, I would have been using the um, the magic edge control. If you guys could see it. Got my edge brush. Oh, actually, before I do that, got my scissors. Turn these baby hairs down. Got my edge brush. No, 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 no. You have too much hair, just push it back. <laughs> I guess I could do another layer of baby hair. Make it two swoops instead of one. Then 
my dog's eye. There you go. So, this is it. She is done she is ready as you guys already know i will definitely have some pictures for you at the end of this video so stay tuned wait for them and i'm also gonna have an updated video of where i pluck this unit and do like a small mini maybe like a pin up or something but for now this is the look this is just a straight middle part with some baby hair no glue no tape um no got to be just the elastic band and the combs and then we're good to go this i could go on in the morning wake up i say five minutes at the most put it on after i get dressed and i'm out the door so definitely get one of these i mean this is gonna be your easiest most simple lightweight hairdo that you could ever have um definitely need one of these in your collection it don't have to be green you don't have to dye it the natural color is pretty you know but i just wanted something different and i like it <laughs>